Ciao Billion Bitcoins, Enrico here, and welcome to the Tempest Class Spotlight here on Spellbreak. Today we're going to be covering the spell and sorceries, as well as skills and basic combinations that you can do with the Tempest as your main class in Spellbreak. So without further ado, let's just jump into the game. So we're going to be doing Practice, Play, and Tempest. Tempest spell is called Wind Shear, and the sorcery is called Tornado, and guess what? It does a tornado. Okay, jokes apart, um, Tempest can be really effective, especially if you are really good at jumping around and staying in the air more than you can stay on the ground. So the basic spell, called Wind Shear, basically allows you to jump. So if you're hitting an enemy on the ground, or if you're just hitting the ground literally, you're gonna be able to jump up. Now, this might not seem an advantage, but think about it. If you jump and use spells, the mana will go down faster. But if you're able to just use your basic attack and jump while you hit, you can definitely do more of your basic attack, so more damage. So that's something to keep in mind. You can use Tempest and go around jumping just by attacking the floor. Also worth mentioning, Tempest has the ability to reach targets that are pretty far from you. Now let's talk about the sorcery. The sorcery is the tornado. The tornado has the ability to shield you from certain attacks. It can pull enemies towards its center and kind of like slow them down and keep them in place. Of course they can fight it by moving, but uh, it's definitely effective if you want to try and keep them in a spot where you want to concentrate some firepower or any other sorcery or spell from other classes. Again, you just hit the tornado and the guy will literally stay there or be slowed down. Let's look at the skills. As I already mentioned, the first one is Wind Surge, so it makes you jump when you're basically casting your spells on the ground. Now, the second skill is called Updraft, and it does two things. You're immune to your tornado pool, and you can also jump using the tornado. You can Q, and bam, you jumped without using mana. I like to point that out because with Tempest, the less mana that you use, the more you can use spells to deal damage. The third skill is called Squall. The more you stay in the air, basically, the more damage you will do. So if you stay in the air one second, you will have a plus 10% damage. If you stay two seconds, 20%, and if you stay three seconds, up to 30% more damage. So of course, you can use your Q to pull yourself in the air, you can use your spells, and all of this will account for the time that you're in the air and will allow you to do more damage. Let's do a concrete example here really quick. I can jump, use my Q, and I can simply attack him, and you can see a little yellow triangle that shows that I was doing more damage as I was staying in the air. I will show you guys one more time. As I'm in the air, I am dealing more damage. So the fourth skill of Tempest is Sudden Gust, and basically if you're in the air for more than one second, the sorcery cooldown speed will increase by 100%. It doesn't mean that it will cool down instantly your skills, but it definitely means that if I cast them and I stay in the air for more than one second, the skill cool down, cools down way faster than it would if I was on the ground. I'm using my basic attack. Also, of course, the mana regenerates pretty fast, so as you can see, I'm able to just stay up and kind of like play with the basic attack and the mana restoration. See that I'm using my attack to stay up? That's going to be more effective than the jump, because the attack will trigger faster than a jump. And guys, this will really become overpower if you know how to use it right. You can see that I'm literally not touching the floor right now. And that's pretty cool. And another one. So you can see this becomes overkill and overpower also, because the more we stay in the air, remember, the more damage we will deal. Now let's look at some basic combinations when we have Tempest as our main class. Now, with Stone Shaper, we are basically able to do a couple of things. The first is, if we throw a tornado and we throw a boulder in the air, it will change direction. And in this case, it came back. But you can also cast a tornado in front of you, and it will change the direction with which the boulder will travel. And I will show you right now. Now, say that you're fighting here, you can also throw a tornado down there and a boulder, and it will go down faster. It will literally drop right behind the tornado. That's basically it for the basic combination you can do with Stone Shaper. Let's show fire. With fire, as you can imagine, you can throw a tornado, you can fire up the tornado. And if you have a firewall, you can turn off the fire just by hitting it with your basic spell on Tempest. 
So that was it for fire. With frost, you are pretty much able to do no basic combinations or nothing uh, worth mentioning. Um, let's show you guys the toxic really quick. If I throw a tornado, I can hit it with the basic toxic spell and it will toxic up the tornado. It will become all green. This is also true if you basically are fighting and you see that you have a toxic cloud right there, you can always throw in your tornado. And that will destroy the cloud and will still use the toxic part to spin in the tornado and deal more damage. And also guys, if you have a toxic cloud and you're hitting it with your wind shear, it will kind of decrease the toxic cloud size very very fast. Now let me show you guys with the legendary electric gauntlet. Um, so first and foremost, if you have a tornado, you can electrify it. It's kind of cool too. It will basically shock players as well around. And that's pretty much it for electricity and wind together. So that was it for the Tempest class spotlight. And if you guys enjoyed, please do make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell button, check out my Twitch, Twitter and Instagram. I do lives on Twitch every day pretty much. And I will see you guys in the next video. Ciao, ciao.